I'm currently a graduate student at UC Berkeley. I'm in a PhD program for biochemistry. Um, I know very little about botany, but uh, we got a press release about this story and uh, looked into it, and I, I guess I know enough to know what questions to ask. <laughs> so it's, it's not necessarily about knowing the information beforehand, but just being able to sort of put it in context so I know what, what questions I need to ask. I would like to be able to do some freelance stuff in the future. I think this next year is gonna, unfortunately I'm gonna have to sort of lose the momentum I've gained here and really focus on research in order to graduate. I mean, most of the scientists that I spoke with were uh, really enthusiastic to talk to me and obviously very interested in getting their stories out there. I, my, my soapbox that I would stand on is that it's about an integrated scientific education curriculum at an earlier level that I feel like there's that these sort of bite-sized pieces that I was able to produce while they were really nice it's hard for people to really get any sort of perspective and big picture of what's happening and I think that that's a problem you know in education and also in the way that science is reported that I you know each of these stories I felt like could have been written out into a few pages about the whole field and I think that that's does a better service both to the, the scientists and to the readers to really give them that larger perspective. Otherwise, they see a malaria-proof mosquito, but don't really have any way of weighing that against other malaria treatments and what's really going on. So, you know, we can provide a little bit of context in these short pieces, but it's really hard to, to make it a, a whole story.